The PowerTracks drum grid allows you to uh, drum grid editor allows you to make your own patterns that then you can use to fill. Uh, so I'll show you how to make a pattern, a uh, simple rock one bar pattern. You can see the instruments are listed down here and we have uh, we can type in numbers which represent the velocities. Now this is beat 1, beat 2, beat 3, and beat 4. We have a resolution of 16th notes, so there's 4 per beat. We could change that to 12, which would be triplet feel styles. But this is an even feel style, so we want a bass drum here and a snare on beat 2. Now I could type in the velocities, or I could use the keys uh, at the bottom of the keyboard, which are Z, X, C, V, B, uh, etc., along the bottom row, to type in these numbers uh, quickly. Um, so we can, by doing that, uh, uh, enter these uh, numbers like this. So now we have a thing that will sound like this. So now we can put in a hi hat on each note using this bottom row of the keyboard and we can get this happening. Now if we wanted the hi-hat to uh, occasionally play something like an open hi-hat, we can use this feature called substitute, which is also accessible from the F5 key. So we'll say, well, how about 40% of the time it's going to substitute note number 4, which is an open hi-hat, at velocity 80 then we'll get a red bar around it indicating that there's a substitute note. So now when we play the, play the pattern we'll hear that it, it's going to, when we fill it, we're gonna, uh, we could say, uh, we're gonna save this as, we'll call it, A test, and then we can fill a hundred bars using this uh, pattern, and we're gonna use this pattern to fill and then we'll notice when we close that we filled with our pattern and you see 40 percent of the time it's going to use that open uh, hi-hat so we, we can easily add variation so now we've been able to uh, easily create a drum pattern with our own grid so example uses you could use you could make custom metronomes using any drum instrument or specific patterns and this sort of thing uh, using the drum grid editor